Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of uh, Friday, December 20th through Sunday, de December 22nd. So, because this is a general reading, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid, so this does not have to resonate absolutely on this time. It can resonate for you whenever it resonates, yeah? Uh, uh, so we had happy hour last night, which was really great. Um, and during happy hour, I did another unboxing of some of some really wonderful gifts that you guys have sent. Um, one of them is one this new mug I have today sent by Archangel. Um, you guys know her, shouldn't you know her as Archangel or Allie? Um, it says, I didn't choose the pug life, the pug life chose me. And it's one of those mystery mugs where the words don't show up until you put the hot beverage in the mug. Thank you so much. I really, really love it. I also, from Mama Kane, I got a new bracelet, which I absolutely love. I absolutely adore this. Now she has got me fully decked out with all these beautiful bracelets, and I really love it. Um, and then I got, I, she also, Mama Kane sent this wonderful um, sign here that says, today's good mood is brought to you by coffee. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I also got another deck of cards here, which I love. And actually, I believe this, it was Sarah that sent this, but it's this deck here. It's basically just a Rider weight deck, but actually it's the, de the depictions of it. This is kind of a, a deck that I've kind of wanted for a long time. I just really like the illustrations on it. It's very similar to the Golden Universal Tarot, which I use here all the time. But, um, thank you so much. I really... I really love it. I really appreciate you guys. You know, you make me, you guys make me smile. Yay. All right. So, um, I'm getting a little bit of a later start today. Like I'm, I'm start, I'm starting, I mean, whatever. I'm starting a full hour later than I normally do when I'm doing morning coffee. And that's mainly because I had some intense, intense dreams last night. Um, and I ended up, because of that, I ended up waking up at like four in the morning and then couldn't go back to sleep. I don't, I didn't go back to sleep until maybe like close to like five thirty, close to six o'clock. And so at that point I was just like, whatever, I just want, I'm just going to sleep in a little bit. Um, but, <laughs> but there's one dream that I had last night that I want to tell you guys about because it's directly in line with what we were talking about during the Instagram live reading um, that I did last night. If you are catching this on Friday, December 20th, you have until about 5.15 to maybe 10 after 5 p.m. to view that reading. Uh, and I know a number, or at least someone asked me if I was going to, if I could save the Instagram live reading. And I, unfortunately, I can't, or at least I don't know how to. Maybe I don't have the ability to do so on my phone. I have an Android. I don't, I don't use iPhones. Um, and I haven't been able to figure out how to save the Instagram live readings because I wanted to save them. Um, I know, like... Um, there are some people that do like, uh, IGTV that can be saved, but Instagram, the, the live, the live readings or whatnot, the live stuff that, uh, that can't be saved. Unfortunately, I really wish I could, but anyway, what we were talking about in the live session, which then also bled into the happy hour session that we had last night. Oh, also, if you want to watch the unboxing, it was, it happened during the happy hour session that's dated for the 19th of December. Yeah, but what we were talking about in the Instagram live, some of a lot of people or a number of people, well, one person mentioned it and then it prompted me to say, hey, I've been feeling this too. And then some others were saying it as well. But many of us have been experiencing lower back, hip or like <laughs> pains in our butt. <laughs> and I and that prompted me to say, hey, wait a second. My sciatic nerve has been acting up a lot lately and I'm not quite sure why it's really because because I remember over the summer um, I noticed that my sciatic nerve wasn't bothering me at all which was the first time in a few years that that had ever happened and then all of a sudden you know I I, I 
sustained a little back injury while I was working, but I fixed that through yoga and stretching and I got my back into realignment and my, my sciatic, sciatic nerve was a little sore after that. But then that went away and then all of a sudden it just like flared up again and it's been straight up hurting for a few a few days now, maybe even like a week or so. Um, and I don't really know why. Uh, it, and so, but then others were saying that they were experiencing that too. And so this dream I had, well, at least one, because there were a number of different things happening in my dream space last night. And part of the reason why I've been dreaming so vividly lately is because I've stopped smoking weed regularly, um, which has been a little bit of a challenge. Uh, but I ran out and I just decided that I wasn't going to buy any more. And so it's been helping me dream a lot more. I know I met, I spoke with Erica from Erica Hippie Tarot, and she mentioned that she had done that too recently, a, a few months ago, actually. This I think this was over the summer that I spoke to her about this, and she was saying that she's been dreaming a lot more because of it. And so eventually I found myself here, and now I'm dreaming like crazy. But this dream I had last night, one of them was I was watching an individual throw bombs out into the into the general public and these bombs would explode and it would throw these humongous pieces of shrapnel all over the place this i mean the dream was extremely graphic like i was watching people get impaled by shrapnel i was seeing head like people were getting decapitated like there was a moment i there was a moment where i was i was laying i was kind of like laying down or at least my point of view looked like it was laying down because i got hit by something or at least the, the the body or the point of view, the vessel or, and the point of view that I had in the dream had gotten hit by one of the shrapnel and it hit me right here. Oh, now you can see my my, my mic, but it hit me right here, right where my sciatic nerve is bothering me. And I I, I literally could feel this, this massive piece of something in my back. But I was laying down at one point and there, there were literally like heads, people's heads were all over, like without their bodies. Like it was, it was very, very graphic. Um, but when I woke up out of the dream cycle, cause that, that was just one piece, one part of a number of different, different, <laughs> very different things that were happening in my dream space. But when I woke up from all of that and I thought back on it, I was like, oh my God, the psychic attacks, because apparently there've been a lot of psychic attacks lately. Now, so I wanted to share that with you because I think that, because I think that's why this has been happening or why we're feeling this pain or why we're feeling whatever. Um, and there was one thing else. There was one other thing I wanted to say. Oh, the other weird thing about that was those of you that were in that Instagram live session that were saying that you felt this. You were cancers, or at least you had some sort of cancer placement in your charts. And I have a cancer moon, but that's in my Eastern or Vedic chart. In Western, I'm a Taurus sun, Leo moon, Virgo rising. In Eastern, I'm an Aries sun, cancer moon, Leo rising. But anyway, that was a weird thing that I wanted to, that, that was a weird connection that I just wanted to point out there. Um, but yeah, it was, that's really, that's really strange. So the, the dream was, I guess, was confirming that these, what we're feeling here is an attack on our lower centers, on our lower chakras, mainly our sacral, I want to say, but it could be also an attack on our root chakras, um, which is our grounding, you know, which is basically our sense of self. But don't this is what spirit is saying to me right now is this is an effect of us moving into 2020 because if you want to look at it this way from a certain point of view there is a war going on between the light and the dark um and there are certain entities there are fourth dimensional entities that feed off of our life source and it's these fourth dimensional entities that choose to remain separate from source um which in essence cuts them off from their the 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 the, the source of life and energy, energy, energy that we all live off of, but because these fourth dimensional entities choose to to remain disconnected from source, um, they have disconnected themselves from the source of life, and so they siphon our life force in order to in order to sustain sustain themselves. This is just one point of view, one perspective. But if you want to look at it this way, it's these entities that are trying to keep us 
from moving forward into this new energy into 2020, which is going to allow us that much more sovereignty and that and we're really going to break free from the matrix and all that, the matrix. Um, and so they're doing everything they can to keep us down. Don't worry about it. And actually, there was a reading that I did for Nick, who has been a viewer for a while, but I did a reading for her last night during happy hour. Um, because she was wondering why she was feeling so irritable lately and I and and as I'm speaking through this This is reminding me of this and there is a message in that where I personally have also been feeling really irritable lately Like when I go out in public and it's to the point where I've never really felt this irritable before like I've always been very empathic, but I've never gotten so aggravated while being in public in certain times as I have been lately. Um, and this is all part of this process of shifting into 2020. And so if you feel like you need to isolate or you need to hibernate or just, you know, remove yourself from certain situations, from certain, certain people, from certain circumstances, whatnot, whatever, then please, by all means, go ahead and do that, you know, protect yourself um, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So I don't really have a pre-shuffle energy because of this, um, but I mean, we did land on something that is relevant to the topic at hand because I did do a little bit of shuffling. So it's very similar to what happened yesterday, but it's the three of wands with the six of wands. We are on our paths. We're doing well. Victory is, victory is at hand. I, I just heard victory is assured. So, Okay. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. So let's get into the rest of the reading for today and see what we've got for the weekend. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, December 20th through Sunday, December, December 22nd. 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this five shuffles. But also, I want to put this on your radar. I'm going to be recording a Twin Flame reading today that I'm going to release tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a mirror reading. Um, and actually I've really been wanting to do this for some time. It's just that my, it never really lined up with my schedule, but now I kind of feel like these would be these, I'm going to do these, or at least I'm going to attempt to do these twin flame mirror readings about once a month because, <laughs> well, well, mainly because I, I'm, uh, much to my own chagrin, I am a Twin Flame channeler, I am a Twin Flame reader, Twin Flame situations come up in my readings all the time, okay? Even when I really don't intend for that to happen. So because of that, between morning coffee in which more Twin Flame energies come through constantly, <laughs> religiously, um, and like a mirror reading, if I were to do the mirror reading more than like once a month, I would just be oversaturating the, the situation. So. So I'm going to do one today and um, yeah, I'm really actually excited to look in, to look in just to check in with the collective, uh, get some messages, see how the divine masculine and the divine feminine are mirroring each other at this time. Yeah. So look out for that. And here we have our last shuffle. Alrighty, kids, let's see what we've got for the weekend. Here we go. Weekend edition, spirit. What would you like to discuss with us today? What is the message for the collective today, skis? We're going to do one more pass, they say. Okay. All right. One more pass. Woo! Let all of them fall out. Okay. Friday, December 20th through Sunday, December 22nd. We've got a lot on the table, kids. My eyes are closed, so I can't really see what's on the table yet, but that's enough. We're going to stop here. Okay, overall, oh boy, overall energy. We have the Ace of Cups. 
Oh, and it's still this side of the card where someone is watching from the distance. You've got that creepy stalker right there. Could it be the Divine Masculine? Potentially. Yes, I think it is. But hey, it's okay. It doesn't have to be. It really doesn't have to be. Um, now, the oh, okay, and on the other side of the card, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Now, this side of the this side of the Wheel of Fortune does, in my opinion, talk about the cycle, going with the flow of cycle of death and rebirth. Also, learning. Okay, teaching yourself and learning some things about, um, you know, life. That's what we're here for. That's why we're here on the earth. I mean, if you want to look at it this way, this is what the meaning of life is: to learn, to expand, and to grow. Period. Okay. So. But also the other thing that's coming through with this side of the Wheel of Fortune are cycles and karmas, uh, cycles of karma, excuse me. And um, the other thing about this Ace of Cups here is things aren't always as they seem, all right? So if you have some sort of, I don't know, really love interest or, you know, if if you're perceiving something from the outside, just keep in mind that, you know things aren't always as they seem period okay just oops adjust this a little bit okay so things aren't always as they seem right especially uh, on the surface especially if you're on the outside looking in all right but also though i'm getting a strong energy of having of some sort of secret admirer we do have the lovers on the deck on on, on the table here um with judgment but let's uh split it into two sides okay let's see seven of wands Ten of Wands, Six of Cups, Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands. Um, we have Three of Swords, Knight of Swords, Three of Cups, Judgment, The Lovers, Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords. Okay, you guys are going to have to bear with me here. Because this is a lot. And so I'm trying to take it all in. These, these go over here. This goes over here. This goes over here. Yes, like this. Okay. Um. I don't know if I really want to try and make sense. I think that's what Spirit was saying to me. I don't know if I really want to try and make sense and put this all in an order. I'm just going to look at the cards and tell you what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling is that there's a lot, a lot, a lot of burden. And it could have to do with deception from the past. I feel like there's there, many of us are guarded because of deception from the past here. You have Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords, right? Um, nine of swords, but with the ten of swords though, all and it's as if someone, yeah, with this six of cups energy, someone is aware of. I mean, many of us are aware of the soulmate situation, the counter, your divine counterpart, whatnot, whatever. All right. Um, interesting. We have the three of swords here with the. I'm. Please excuse me, guys, but I'm really just going to be jumping around. <laughs> I'm really just going to be jumping all over the place with this. Three of swords, knight of swords, three of cups. I kind of get the feeling here that some of you may be in a, a position right now to be defending your defending yourself against some sort of hive mind mentality. With what I get with the Three of Cups is um, collective thinking, collective circumstances. Uh, You have to excuse me. I'm I'm drawing. I'm having trouble. I'm having trouble putting this into words today. I feel a little weird, a little foggy. It's an interesting that that dream situation really like kind of messed with me a little bit. You, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. All of this shit came out, but I really don't even want to talk about it. All I really want to say is ultimately, some, people are waking up. <laughs> Judgment, the Lovers, and the Knight of Wands with the Nine of Wands. This is just, that's really all that matters here. I, f I do get a feeling that someone is burdened by circumstances and situations from the past that have been very destructive, toxic, maybe narcissistic, de deceptive also. Okay, and someone's got some real strong anxiety 
surrounding it. And I feel like whomever, I, this was the person, this was for someone that was really deceptive. They're feeling the pinch right now. They really are. And I do feel like you, so you or they, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna, uh, I don't know who, whomever I'm speaking to here, it could be you or it could be someone you're connected to. But with this Knight of Swords and this Three of Cups energy, I feel like someone is letting go of toxic situations. And instead of continuing to flow or vibe or to continuing to allow themselves to flow or vibe with the hive mind, with the, with the collective, like the, I can't, I, I don't, I don't have any other word, way to put it other than the hive mind. Instead of con continuing to choose to flow with that, they're going with a sense of self. Cause you see how this woman here, now this side of the card is, it does represent needing to be grateful. Um, make sure that you are uh, showing gratitude. This is this woman is um, basically giving giving thanks to the gods and the universe and whatnot, whatever. But I feel like someone is finally choosing themselves and their connection to source over what everyone else would say. Instead of dancing with the crowd here, you know what I mean with this with this side of the card. Instead, they're honoring themselves and they're saying, "I choose to." be an individual. I choose to honor myself. I choose to think for myself. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this. And as a result, they're in an energy or you're in an energy of cutting themselves free from this with this Knight of Swords energy. This could be, it, this definitely could be a conversation. You might have some really strong things to say. You may have already said that. I know that came out earlier in the week here. Oh, and then you have judgment with the lovers. Someone's really waking up. Someone's waking up. You could be. This could be a you or someone you're connected to. Waking up to the balance between masculine and feminine within. Waking up to a counterpart situation. Becoming aware of a counterpart situation. You may already be aware of this. But also what's coming through is, especially with this nine of wands and the knight of wands here, okay? Someone is going into a cocooning phase. Someone is going into a phase where it feels like they're you or they are generating some sort of momentum to come forward really passionately to be some sort of light worker if you identify with that or just sort of a light bearer a torch bearer waking i just heard waking up to your divine purpose potentially okay okay i want to move forward i want to get i want to start to get some clarity but I don't want to talk about this shit anymore. I really don't. It's time to let this go. I don't want to discuss that much anymore. We might have to. But anyway. Spirit wants me to talk about it. Okay, fine. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do... All right. We're going to get some clarity here. Clarification. We're going to look a little deeper. I, do, I don't, personally, I didn't really want to talk about this stuff, but it's necessary, Spirit is saying. So I'm going to use, but I'm going to use this deck. And I just want to get some information for you on this, some deeper clarity. And then we're going to talk, but I really want to talk about this here because this is what you're moving towards. This is your ascension right here. But... Um, okay, but what I'm getting here, what Spirit is saying to me is there is some deeper clarity that's necessary here because, look, you have the Ten of Swords, but you also have the Nine of Swords. So whomever this is, if this is you or someone else that, you know, you're connected to, they're needing some, you're needing some clarity on this because you're still in a really anxious state about it, all right? So let's clear this up. Let's get a little, a little deeper clarity for you on this. Last shuffle here. Okay, here we go. What do we need to know about this energy right now, Spirit? There's more. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, look, there's that three of cups again. All right, here we go. One, two, 
three. Ten of wands, ten of, ah, yes. All right, cool. So you're manifesting your way out of this. The magician is at the bottom of the deck, okay? You're manifesting your way out of this. You're really taking the bull by the reins. Um, some of you, this could be a family situation for some of you, um, but this also, what I'm feeling is, this is this also might have a lot to do with your career, career trajectory, um, something that you may have been working towards for a very, very long time. And what you have here with the 10 of pentacles in reverse and the 10 of wands, it's like whatever this situation or circumstance is for you, whether it is family, whether it's career, whether it's a combination of family and career, or whether it's just something that you've it's just been uh, uh, a staple, I guess we could say, in your life. It's been in your life for a long time, or it's been a circumstance that you've been involved with for a long time. It has become way overburdening, way overtaxing. But here's the thing about that. The reason why it has gotten to this point is because you have been experiencing an awakening of divine feminine energy within you. You've been experiencing awakening of empathy. You may have become way more sensitive or you may have become aware of just how sensitive you actually are. And I just got a feeling that maybe with this three of cups energy here, you've been in an energy of trying to numb yourself. Now that makes perfect sense because if you're riding, if you're flowing with the hive mind, if you're flowing with the crowd, that's a sleeper crowd, okay? That's a sleeper crowd. And it could be, uh, it's interesting, this five of pentacles energy, um, feeling inadequate in some way. I'm not really sure what that means, but here you go. You have the star, the moon, the king of pentacles with the seven of cups also. <clears throat> Interesting. So you're waking up, basically. You might be really, really confused right now. You're really confused right now. Because, because it's interesting because you, the star and the moon, the star and the moon have been coming out a lot lately. Okay. Um, together and it, I mean that's progress from this from the star you move to the moon okay uh, the tower comes right before the star and it, the tower moment is when you know you have some sort of realization there's some sort of destruction something is torn down something massive massive change happens and then you go through it and then everything fades to black right and you have this one star or this one speck of light in all of the darkness that is surrounding you that is guiding you somewhere. So you're in the process right now of being guided by the star, but you're also in the process of feeling maybe scared. There might be a, quite a bit of fear. Um, maybe there's a, a lot of illusion around you. You may be becoming quite aware of the illusion that's around you with the moon. You also may not know exactly where you're going, but you need to follow your intuition. Here's that confusion also and the, the, the illusion with the seven of cups, but also the king of pentacles. And this is, um, um, I guess the message that's coming through with the king of pentacles here is that you are, you first remain grounded, but also remain yeah, Ten of Swords also wanted to pop out there. Keep in mind that whatever this circumstance is for you, it's come to an end or it is coming to an end. It is fading to black. It is fading into the background. So you just need to maintain your sense of grounding. You need to understand that the fact that you're the reason, the, the, the reason that you are even in this position to begin with is because you are well manifested. You are safe and solid and secure in yourself to be able to stand up to the hive mind, three of cups. And so then the five of pentacles here is the energy that you were holding that you didn't feel adequate enough. You didn't feel good enough. And so you needed the validation of all of these people around you to tell you that you were good enough, but you don't need that anymore. King of pentacles, you know your worth. You're learning your worth. This could very well be the masculine here, whether this is the, your inner masculine or you as a, a masculine, a divine masculine counterpart. Okay. And if you don't resonate with like twin flame bullshit and all that stuff, then don't worry about it. This, again, this still could be your own inner masculine en energy, finding a sense of self-worth and security. 
okay? But it is because of this that you're even able to face the ending. Come on. Come on, all right, get it together. Get it together. There we go. Face the ending of all of this. Ten of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Wands. And to move forward to something bigger, better, and greater. To go through a healing process and to move through the darkness, move through the fear, move through the illusion, the star to the moon. Okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm actually I'm actually really glad that um that we uh, we looked into that now also with this moon energy and also with this ace of cups in this like kind of dark scene whomever this is whomever this king of pentacles is kind of feels like you're going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul but keep in mind you also have i just i just realized this you also have a balance between the masculine and the feminine here and this and this is really a beautiful depiction of it because the masculine really does represent you know the physical world um structure order leadership and all that the feminine represents the spiritual world um uh, uh emotion psychic ability uh empathy all that kind of stuff so this really it could be the balance between masculine and feminine within you and it is through the rise of the divine feminine energy and and what she represents that is helping you to feel secure in your own sense of masculinity which is helping you to move forward okay beautiful guys i'm really glad we I, um, thank you spirit i'm really glad we looked into that so now let's look into this part here and i'm going to go back to the epic tarot i really want to go work with the epic tarot right now especially in this time for us because we are in fact in the process of writing a whole new chapter or more importantly a whole new book right and that's kind of how this deck is oriented so with that i want to look in i'm going to get some clarity here on um, Judgment, the Lovers, Nine of Wands, and Knight of Wands. So you're going into a little bit of a, of a cocooning phase. Many of us have already been in that phase. Some of us are just starting to enter into it now. Some of you are really dealing with a dark night of the soul situation. And it's interesting because I really do feel like the tower moment has passed because the star is right after the tower. All right, so... Um, the tower moment has passed, and now you're just in the process of healing through it, okay? Excellent. One last shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got here. Let's see. A little clarity, please, spirit. Knight of Cups. No, that's the Page of Cups. Oh, okay, okay. Seven of Cups. The Empress and the... Holy shit. Oh, you've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you guys. Six of Swords. Six of Swords is the overall energy here, okay? Which is good. This is travel. This is movement. This is leaving the past behind you. This is, um, I heard, leaving past circumstances putting putting the past to rest but look what came out here the emperor and the empress the divine masculine and the divine feminine with none other than the lovers okay so this is the integration of the masculine and feminine within all right this is if you want to look at it this way this is the twin flames aligning going through the process of healing is what i just heard all right this process of healing is being overseen by the Queen of Swords. By the Queen of Swords. All right? The Queen of Swords is this guard dog, I guess you can call it. And I please don't take that in a derogatory way. I, ah, dogs are really no, noble, noble creatures. All right? So, but she's like the guardian here that's really working to keep energies at, by, at bay, to keep... To, to, to cut the bullshit, to make sure that things are moving clearly and focused in a focused manner. She is balance, okay? The Queen of Swords does represent Libran energy, Libra. Libra is all about balance. And this, 
the, you, there's no one better than the Queen of Swords than to do this for you because she's doing this in the name of balance and she's not even going to, she's not going to fuck around, <laughs> okay? The moment she sees something comes out of, goes, goes out of balance, she's like, hey, 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 I don't think so. You get back in line, right? Could be talking about the devil energy, even though we don't have the devil here. That's okay. We don't need to have the devil here because we have the Queen of Swords instead. What else we have? We have the Page of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. Slowly but surely, we are find, bringing balance into our lives. The Two of Pentacles does speak to balance, okay? The Seven of Cups is breaking free from the illusion. And for some of you, the process that you're going through right now is a process of facing your emotions, where once you may have been really blindfolded, now it's like, no, no, I'm going to see clearly through this. The Queen of Swords is helping you do that. The Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands here is speaking to the slow and methodical piece by piece process, step by step process that you're going through, represented by the Knight of Pentacles, um, doing things thoroughly um, and not, not letting anything slip by you right the knight of wands i'm feeling is that drive to to move you forward to keep you going on this path this the, i'm seeing the knight of wands as your fuel on this path right to keep you going oh and then we have one other card the seven of pentacles harvest reaching reaping what you have sown and i'm getting specifically especially with this page of cups and the seven of cups in dealing with your emotions this is purposefully planting new seeds for the future because you do and also look here you have this depiction of the masculine and the feminine and the feminine is pregnant so definitely planting new seeds for the future and you see you have this wise gentleman here this older gentleman or which could represent wisdom planting a brand new seed And I do feel very specifically, even if you're not in communication with your divine counterpart or not energetically, you too are in this process right now of planting a new seed for a new generation. In which I could say you would come together. Wow. This is beautiful, you guys. This is so beautiful. Okay. So, all right. Moving forward now. I want to get to uh, final closing message from Spirit. And then we're going to get our Oracle Guidance, which is which is, I'm being instructed to take it from the Lightworker Oracle deck today. All right. So, closing message from Spirit. Final Guidance. In handling these energies, you give this three shuffles. And then we will get our overall energy. The three of wands just caught my attention. So spirit is saying you are absolutely on the right path. Please keep going. Do not falter now. Do not stop now. You're doing the right thing. Everything is going very, very, very well. Quite well. You have the devil with the page of cups, the ace of wands, overall energy is the four of cups. So what spirit is saying here is the devil has been the energy that has been keeping you from accepting your fourth cup. The devil has been that energy that has been keeping you focused on these three cups here. All right. That are not serving you while and keeping you actually keeping you distracted. Yes, from the fourth cup that spirit is trying to hand you, has been trying to hand you this whole time. Okay, here we have the representation of that new cup. Ace of cups to the ace of wands. I want to get a little bit more on this. I'm sorry, this is not the ace of cups. This is the page of cups. The page of cups to the ace of wands. I want to, yeah, we're going to get a little bit more on this. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. The page of wands to the sun 
and the star. Healing is happening. Wishes are going to come true. Wish fulfillment is coming. Oh my goodness. You guys, this is just, this is just amazing. Page of Wands to the Sun. So you see, what spirit is giving you in this fourth cup that you may not have been realizing is self-awareness. Because Page of Cups can also represent getting in touch with your emotions, learning about your emotions, feeling through them, right? And, as, and I love that it, it really is perfect that it's coming out as a Page of Cups right now because this is, for a lot of us or a lot of you, this is very, this is really brand new. It's almost, it really is almost as if you are rediscovering yourself again. That's what I see with the, the, the Page of Wands, you know, getting to know yourself again, getting to know your power. I do see the Page of Wands as a minor arcana version of the Hermit. But this is getting to know yourself on a very physical, it could be a very physical way, re-identifying yourself, rediscovering who you truly are in your physical existence rather than going deep down into the depths of your soul and seeing you know, who you truly are on a universal or a grander scale. This is you finding who, who you truly are on an individual scale, in your personality even, which is inspiring you or has the potential to inspire you. But as long as you were focused on that three of cups energy where the devil was trying to keep you from, keep you distracted, you weren't able to do that. And now awareness, illumination, the sun is shining. Everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. It's beautiful energy. So keep on following through with this faith because the star keeps just keeps coming out, kids. Look, you have it there twice. You have it here. And you have it here. And this was even where we were talking about that devil energy. No. No, it was here. Because I was talking about the Queen of Swords. Okay. But still, you have the star twice here. So follow your intuition. Follow the guidance. Your healing is happening. Okay? And continue to have faith. Have faith. Yes? Beautiful. All right. Let's get our closing message with our oracle guidance here. All right, closing message. Here we go, kids. There it is right there. Yes, okay. <clears throat> Card number 34, which does boil down to a seven. Hold your center. Okay, here we go. And focus, focus. Saboop. All right. Have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground, firmly place your feet there, and do not move. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience quiet certainty as you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. I'm going to read more of this, but this feels perfect. So this actually is really saying as you're going through this process of healing, if you really need to isolate yourself, then by all means, go ahead and do it. I'm going to sneeze, maybe. No. Anyway, by all means, if you need to isolate yourself, just do it. You are learning to trust in your own instincts, to take your own journey without comparison to the life path of another. There is no need to become disheartened or distracted by comparisons or judgments. The earth needs your light, which can only come from you. You will offer so much less if you try to make it match your beauty to what you perceive to be the beauty of another. Many souls who are different and unique were not 
understood, acknowledged, or, and valued for whom they were as children. Instead, they were encouraged to conform, to change, to be other than their true self in order to be loved. This can be, hard, this can be a hard pattern to break. Yet the time is here for you to love and honor yourself as yourself. You are beautiful. You do not need to change for another. You certainly do not need to change for the divine. You are being encouraged instead to distill your essence and to become, to become even more of you. Hold your center now and do not be rattled by any other through intimidation, confrontation, doubt, jealousy, or fear. <clears throat> to quote, hold your center means you accept your innate value and worth, your right to exist and thrive, and accept the love that created you as you in order to fulfill your divine destiny. This oracle brings you confirmation. You are on the right path. You do not need to collapse into fear or doubt to ease old guilt or make others more comfortable. It is not selfish or, quote, hard of you to be strong. You can hold yourself in high esteem and be gentle and loving to others whilst absolutely refusing to accept any behavior, belief, or attitude of another that would tear you down or cast you into doubt or self-hatred. As part of your spiritual training, your soul learned to be open to receive guidance and channel healing. This is what you need to be able this is what you need to be able to do to function as a healer, channel and light worker. You had to be sensitive, receptive and open. Now is the time to balance that with resilience, strength and even some divine stubbornness. Refusing to give up who you are whilst remaining open to guidance is the balance of loving wisdom necessary to grow yourself as a divinely unique individual in a world that often fears true individuality simply because it cannot be easily controlled. Holding your center doesn't mean that you no longer surrender. Instead, you consciously choose to surrender into divine love and grow more empowered. You are here to shine a light, to be the lighthouse for others. The lighthouse doesn't ask for permission to shine. It stands still, shines faithfully, and those who need it are guided by its light to safety. Do not lose faith in yourself, beloved soul. You know who you are. Be strong. Honor your inner beauty and your personal boundaries. You need to feel safe in your ability to say no as much as you need to know that you will say yes when your heart guides you to do so. Be true to you. Wow. The other message that's coming through that is you need to isolate yourself right now. And I know that especially in terms of like if we're talk talking in terms of counterparts here, twin flames, divine soulmates, whatever, however you want to call it. I know there is an energy right now in the collective of wanting to reach out, especially on the masculine side. However, especially for those masculines out there that are really disconnecting from the hive mind, you need to take some time to yourself. Do not rush yourself into connecting to your divine feminine or your counterpart or whatnot, whatever. Allow yourself some time to breathe. Allow yourself some time to heal. Allow yourself some time to be with yourself because you need to, you need to allow the energies of this hive mind mentality that you seem to be breaking free from you need to allow some time for those energies to dissipate from your system so that you can really get back into the core of who you are and you really can really connect strongly with who you truly are so that you can show up in a more authentic way, okay? Do not rush yourself. Do not rush this process, please, all right? Okay, guys, so there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee on Monday morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.